It's always a good day when it's sunny out. Well, at least it's supposed to be sunny, but it is warm. Canadian fires have traveled over to our side, and now it's been overcasted for the last couple days, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. But it's still a good day, and I can take the BMW off for a little drive. And, well, of course, it's one of my cars, so it's gonna have some issues. But the car's still drivable, so that's a good thing, I guess. And I'll take that win. But let's talk about some of the issues. Let's talk about timeline as far as when I wanna fix them and when I wanna get the car sorted by, because this is the year that I am going to do some work to this car, because if I don't do it now, I'm probably gonna regret doing it later. But in the last video, you guys saw this car. We replaced the battery, and that made the car start running again, because the battery was almost nine years old and completely died out. I drove the car the other day. The car's running good, but it does have a couple of things that it desperately needs before I actually put miles on it. Key in the ignition. Put on clutch. And she starts right up. Because this car hasn't been driven since last year, it does need a annual service. But also, last year, it didn't get too many miles, so I don't think it ever got its annual service. I want to say this car only got two or 300 miles put on it last year. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the max of what it got. And that's something that we're going to change this year. We're going to put at least 1,000 miles on it this summer. Keep in mind, the only time I want to drive this car is when I want to drive it to enjoy it and not just put useless miles on because that's not what this car is for but before that we need to do a couple of things so let's pull it out and talk about it so overall in here everything's pretty nice if you guys are familiar with the e36 generation cars at all the interior is basically like to disintegrate because they wanted them to be environmentally friendly and recycle themselves but the thing is they would recycle themselves before the car has even hit like a thousand miles this interior is pretty good for the most part you know sometimes you see people pulling these handles and them literally just falling off this is a little bit of a later car it's still an s52 car but it's the last year of the s52 and after 2000 and 2001 so in 01 they went to the s54 motors and these cars came out in like 98 i believe the only reason i bring that up is because i do have glove box sag and it's just a super common trait we tried fixing it at one point but it just keeps sagging in the interior that's literally the only thing that the car needs to be fixed but there is one other thing i want to source an oe radio for this car uh i just because the car doesn't really get driven that much it'd be cool to have the original piece here everyone went with like alpine systems back in the day I, I just feel like having the original piece in there would just be kind of cool now that the car has some heat into it let's go take it out for a drive and show you some things that need to be fixed in the driving category now as far as dash lights go i only have one dash light which is this seat belt buckle needs to be replaced, which I will address in this rounds of repair. The other thing is, if you guys are looking at my alignment real quick, if you can't tell, my alignment is decently off. And I was going to address that in the last round of repairs, but I didn't because I need tires. And I've needed tires for almost the amount of time I bought the car from. These cars have track, camber on them so the wear gets pretty excessive especially in the rear where it's cambered so because it has that amount of camber in the rear it just shreds the tire it also may need to be aligned from there but i've also been told that they can't be aligned from there so i'm not sure what to do if it's supposed to be like that that's fine but if it's not then we need to get that fixed but as far as everything else goes the only thing i may need to do is the air conditioning might need some type of refresh or recharge or I hope I don't need a new unit, but it might need something because sometimes it blows hot air. There are a couple of other things that I do want to talk about, which are common BMW failures, common BMW maintenance points, I guess I should say. The car is now 23 years old, and it's about the time that we address a couple of different things. The E36 generation, the reason why I bring up the E36 M3 so much before um, I get comments saying you don't have an E36 M3, I bring that car up because this car has the same power plant as that car. This car is literally just that car, but they changed a couple of different bits and pieces. The Z3M, which is what this is, the S52 motor, is the same motor that is in the M3, which is the reason why I bring up M3 maintenance because these aren't really as common as those are. But the S52 that sits under here is a really reliable motor for the most part. There are very few issues. You can see E36 M3s, original motors, you know, 150, 200,000 miles on them. But there is one point of failure, which is the cooling system. People just like to upgrade the cooling systems or just refresh the cooling systems, given the cars are 23 years old or some even older than that. 
one of the points is that people replace cooling systems. The cooling system and subframe. My subframe, from what I know, has not been reinforced. As far as maintenance records, I have nothing other than what I have done to the car. I have done a clutch, a slave cylinder, and just yearly maintenance on it. And then now the battery, and I'm gonna be doing tires, alignment, those types of things. I've never done anything big as far as cooling system, subframe, any of that. The car is still fine as of right now, but the air conditioning is going out, so maybe in the next year or so we'll look into doing the cooling system on this thing. But as far as right now, I don't think you'll get any of that. As far as subframe reinforcement goes, I still don't think that it'll get any of that just yet. From what we looked at it last year or a, almost two years ago, the subframe is fine. It doesn't have any cracks or anything like that and the car is pretty much all good to go. We're gonna keep an eye on that and if anything happens, we're gonna replace it. Get it fixed or whatever you need to do for the subframe, you know, re-weld spots into it and change the cooling system if we have to. As far as right now though, the BMW is pretty much all good to go. All it needs is tires, an alignment, an oil change, and a maintenance service basically. Since it's close to 85,000 miles, I'll probably do spark plugs and a couple of different other things just for maintenance sake to keep it going. I think this year I'm going to just keep it light and do an oil change, tires, and then see what it needs from there. And then sometime in the winter, I'll start pulling things and doing stuff myself. Because from everything that I've been told, these cars aren't incredibly hard to work on once you do kind of understand them a little bit, which I'm down to do. I'm just always scared to mess something up given these cars have gone up in value pretty significantly. There's also one thing that I need to get addressed and that's the spring in the transmission and a couple of other transmission related things. The spring in the transmission, if I put it over to fifth gear, it won't come back in center because the spring needs to be replaced, which is a transmission out job, which should have been done when the clutch was there. So I need to talk to the guy who did the clutch for me as to if he replaced it and why he didn't replace it. We'll talk about that later, but that needs to be done. Another thing is, I'm not sure if these transmissions have some type of rebuild kit or something like that, because in the Miata, you can take the whole shifter off from the turret and then you can replace and do a shifter rebuild kit and it'll make it a lot smoother. This transmission is just a little bit notchy and I'm not sure if that's just by design, which I'm pretty sure it is, but if there's a way to make it feel a little bit more smooth, I think I might look into that. I don't think I'll go short shifter kit or anything like that, but if there is some type of rebuild option to just get it fixed up and make it run a little bit smoother. I'm gonna pop the hood though so you guys can see the S52. It didn't latch just on the side here. But as far as everything goes under here, it is pretty clean. Like honestly, this motor is really clean. The car doesn't really show the miles all too well. It definitely needs an exterior kind of touch up. It needs the wheels touched up because of the previous owner and it needs this bumper touched up. But as I said, for the first kind of round for this year, just a light round, but it's gonna be fairly expensive because the tires are not cheap and getting wheels reconditioned probably aren't too cheap. But these wheels are very, very expensive and very hard to come by. With a couple of different services, I'm sure we'll be into the two to $3,000 range, but I think it's gonna be well worth it as far as longevity of this car goes. You guys can just see how big that hood is compared to the rest of the car in order to fit a motor that big. One thing I completely forgot to mention is the soft top has a little crack in it right here in the plastic so i'm going to be looking into changing the plastic out and seeing kind of how much it costs in terms of doing that pros and cons and possibly getting a hard top for this car that's all i have for this video though if you guys didn't enjoy excited for my bmw content i kind of just wanted to run through a couple of maintenance things that have to happen or should happen or could happen in the near future here as i said that's all i got if you want to see more bmw content make sure to subscribe let me know if you want to see content on any of the other cars as well let me know in the comment section down below but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video